Hello world, welcome to CyberCrit and today we are going to solve one of the TCS mock meta question that is file and coin and we are going to see the algorithm as well as the code. So let us start putting up this question. Okay, here is our question file and coin problem and here you can just simply go through this question and I will just summarize this question for you. In this question, you are given a number of coins or you are given the amount of file and coin. And what you have to do, you have to just find the minimum number of coin that can satisfy every coin ranging from that number one to the given number n. Let's just see with the example and it will make more sense. Like for five, to create the number till five, we just need one two and three and with the help of this combination of this number we can form any number between one to five easily okay let us see if you want to create the combination of five then you need just one two and three and let us just discuss how if we need to create one rupees coin with the help of five we can just simply do it by we can just simply do it by one and for creating two we just need one two rupees coin and we will be done and to create the three rupees coin we just need we just we just need to add two and one two plus one and it, it will give us three and for getting four uh, we just simply need one three and what three plus one this will give you four and for five you just have to do 3 plus 2 and this will give you 5 and so this is how our program is structured like and if uh, we go back here we can just also see our test cases of 10 for 10 let us just uh, say the numbers are 4 for 10 what we will need is let me just and if, if uh, we are going to do with 10 the number that are needed will be with the help of 1, 2 and 3 we can go up till 5 with the help of 1, 2, 3 we can go till 5 now and the remaining uh, the 5 number we can just simply create with the help of 4 so you can see the pattern till 5 it is 1, 2, 3 till uh, for 10 it is 1, 2, 4 well there is very awesome property that will help us solve, the, solve this question and that is finding the binary of that number like the binary of 5 we all know is 0 1 0 1 and for 10 and the binary uh, and the binary of 10 we know that it is 1 0 1 0 and from here we can see a very simple pattern out here for 5 if you are trying to solve it will be of 3 digit it will just need this 3 and if you are going to solve it with uh, for 10 it will be a 4 digit uh, as you can see the binary number that represent 10 are just 1010 0, 0, the length is 4 so here is our algorithm so first uh, we are just going to simply find the binary of that number for this case 5 we find out the binary is 101 1, and we are just going to simply return the length of this like 101 1, it is 3 then the answer will be 3 and for 10 it will be the binary will be 1010 0, 0, and the entire length of this number is 4 so we can just simply return 4 and so this is the basic algorithm that we are going to apply here we can just simply upload a code on the code beta or we can also just use online editor so here we are on the online editor so first make sure to choose the language of your choice we are going to solve in python so the first thing that the question asked us to do is to the first line contains the t denoting the number of test cases and the second line the next t line the number of means we have to use a loop and the next t line will contain integer denoting the maximum price of the item so you might be thinking how did i came with this idea of binary numbers so if you are preparing for tcs code vita please make sure to practice two things you should know all the properties of binary numbers and all the properties of XOR because these are the two most important and crucial things that are asked in code vita and if you just simply go through all those properties your programming tasks will be a lot more easier 
at first if you don't know this logic uh, this question might be uh, seem impossible to you like how the hell i am going to do this but due to the properties of binary number the length that we are going to get in binary number is the minimum number of numbers that are required to form that particular number you might be thinking how can i even do it so you have to go through the properties of some of the binary number as well as xor numbers you can just google it down and you will find it so let us just start our code first t is equal to int input and now we have to just loop through and we have also have to save this number uh, save this result because for once uh, our test cases are over we have to print this number 3 4 as the number of test cases so we are just going to simply use a list then simple loop to just get all the input and then what we can do we have to take a number as an integer int input and then we have to find the binary form of it so let us say b is equal to binary of n and this will just return your binary number if you, uh, you find it for 5 it will just return 0 b that uh, represents the, that it, uh, it is binary number and then it will print 1 0 and 1 but we have to just remove this out we just need this so we are just using slicing in python we will just say 2 we have to just remove the first starting 2 and then get me all the number so it will get us 101 now what we have to find the length of this like how many numbers are there so for that we can just simply use the len function in python okay now everything seems perfect now we can just simply append it into our list now we have all the result in our list L so now we can just simply loop through our list for i in L and then we can just simply print it out and now let us just check okay first we have to write your project program name or anything we can just write coin this name can be anything you can just write anything let us just compile our code okay here is a presentation error and many people get confused seeing this presentation error please don't panic seeing this presentation error if you are trying to fix this presentation error it may take your entire time and this presentation error is not going to fix you just click on submit final and it is all right to have a presentation error this means it does not affect any of your test cases in any way presentation error and this smiley face shows you that you don't need to worry so please don't stuck solving the presentation error try to move forward and to solve more questions in more upcoming videos we are just going to solve more of this question like prime fibonacci as well as uh, collision course so please make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so thanks for watching.